Hey everybody, welcome back. We go again. And you know what we do when we go again? We go like this. We go strawberry. <laughs> Naive husband, me thinking that my strawberry team is gonna give me 10 wins when every time I take it, it gives me nine wins. But hey, you know, maybe this makes me a coward. I would rather get nine every time than five 50% of the time and 10 50% of the time. Maybe that may, maybe you look at that and you say that's normal, or maybe you look at that and you say that's insane. There's a, I would say, you know, there's, there's a continuum of risk aversion to risk taking. I'm certainly more on the risk aversion part of the, uh, of the risk curve. And what's funny is that, well, you know, we're not going to get into it. I was going to talk about personal finance. I was going to be like, we know you're risk averse. You buy stocks instead of crypto. And then I was going to also say, but then there's another group of people that's like, we know you're risk averse. You only have 17% uh, of your portfolio in treasuries. Hey, listen, this is more of a joke for the people with a chartered financial advisor certificate. Or certificate of a financial advisor. I don't know what it's called. It's not my area of expertise. I just read the Burton Malkiel books, okay? Something like this. And actually, I would love to give you a strawberry. How would you like to have 55 strawberries? That's not the, that's not the joke at all. How would you like to have 200 strawberries? There we go. Look at that. We just bought garlic and the unit at the same time. Now, you need a strawberry. I would ideally like you to have a strawberry before I sell a, a kiwi. Holy cow. It would be nice. I, I mean, I wouldn't mind trying to make a trumpet build work. It's just that usually the early trumpet enablers are kind of underwhelming. IMO, that's just my O. I'm, I'm, I'm mying my O right now. That's a strong lad. Not quite strong enough to get the dub, but, but a strong lad nonetheless. Uh, but... Maybe, maybe I'm incorrect. The strawberries have like a good early game momentum to them. These. Honestly, I think I would, I would sell just to, just to plop you down here. And maybe we move it. It's, you might as well get the buff. I mean, it's just, it sucks that you're probably going to one for one at best, but you could easily 0 for one. Whatever. I mean, we, who cares? Well, you, listen, you were going up against an 813 unit to begin with. You were definitely going to... Uh, 0 for 1 to begin with. But the squad, the squad does not... The squad does not appear like it's going to 0 for 1. And look, this is like a strawberry versus trumpet setup right here. And strawberry's clear as far as we can, at least, you know, versus in that one sample size. <laughs> nah. Uh, cassowary is probably the thing that you like... You abandon it at your own... Risk, I guess. Blobfish is still pretty good, too. I, I think that, for me, the thing with Cassowary is, like, if we're gonna make it work, we can't let it scale at 1-1. One, one. It has to get to 2-2 two, two as soon as possible. So I'm taking the Blobfish to, like, get this, get this lad off the ground. Because he is not off the ground. He is firmly planted on the freaking ground right now. And that means we're pretty much locked into strawberries for the rest of the run. Which, and you didn't get any buffs, which means we could probably afford to sell you unless we get like... I was going to call it a stinkfish. <laughs> unless we can get an early stinkfish. Now, 2-2 uh, is probably worth the pill, but I was like, it's more the opportunity cost of like possibly getting a leveled up cassowary this turn. If we use the... It, it doesn't matter too much, but... Why don't you take this, too? I'm, I'm sure we can make something happen there. I, th I think we made the right decision in this case. And then the next step is for sure to level the hummingbird, pray for a shoe bill. And if you get a shoe bill, you're feeling pretty nice about, about this run overall. If you don't get a shoe bill, then it's time to accept that nine wins is probably your ceiling. And don't cry about it. It's just life most uh, insane draw of all time. Like a hundred triggers happen just for us to end up at the same spot where we started. It's not a shoe bill. Okay, I, I could be persuaded at this stage of my life to go, you know what, sell me, buy me, and all of a sudden, 
we might be talking about like leveling up a turkey instead to enable a pivot here. Unfortunately, none of our other units are really very good. So I'm not buying salad in a unit. I would go... Give me a buy me, sell me here. Might, might strike you as a little crazy. But give me a buy me, sell me. Toss me a gariel. We could get a, a melon out of this, but I'd also like to pick up like some momentum. <laughs> Foam sword. I'm not saying we're running a toy build. I'm just saying, you know, this is where we stand right now. We do have a potential future. A level two turkey is like, it's a, it's an, a unit you can almost slot into any team. But it is also an indication, I would say, that my dream of running a strawberry team is probably not going to come to pass. They're running a, a Mosasaurus team. You might say, like, they beat you. That's true, but they are on 2 HP. I, I question whether that'll keep working forever, but... Now, I would say at this point... I mean, I would absolutely take this. And, well, it, it, ironic, because now we're going to be running our own Mosasaurus. <laughs> you uh, did not get there. So we'll put our own Mosasaurus right here. And it's an interesting... Nah, you're too late. You, you waited too long, okay? It's an interesting kind of calculus here on the Mosasaurus. Because, like, we want to buff the Gariel, but the Gariel can only get an effect, like, three more times if the toys are perfectly spaced. Now, I might be using, like, I'm, I'm refreshing the toy count maybe a little too much, but prior to this, we didn't really have anything that, that scaled with toys anyway, so I'm stunned that, that the double Gariel effect was not enough to get it there, but it is what it is. Now we got chocolate. To me, this is like, you have to clean house. I would take a Niala. Statically, just by itself, good unit. I would take a turkey, level it up. I would spit out a Highland cow, and guess what? We're on a we're on a trumpet build now. You're gonna get six trumpets on death, which means Mosasaurus should buff you two, and it's kind of tempting to sell the Gariel and run a second Mosasaurus just for this turn, because this is the uniquely like best triggered turn. And look at that, we even paid attention there. And we're really, the Mosasaurus leveling would be nice, but we're also really looking for a leveled uh, Vaquita. This is going to hurt a little bit, but this is what the trumpets are built for. This is a heck of a pivot if we could get there. A leveled Vaquita, a leveled Niala, something like that. Not an antelope, I would say. It's a nice buff. This is a very tough choice. The Highland Cow should have received two buffs. That's my mistake on positioning. Give me the level and spit out a tier six. That's... And then a toy is good. And the toy should be... Nobody has crazy stats. I think Death Touch is probably your best play. It'd be nice to get coconut armor, but I feel like Death Touch is... This is the way. And then roll. It's interesting, at the very least. It would be really nice to get the Highland Cow, like, crazy. Because the stats from the Highland Cow directly go to the dog. Holy cow. We, we, I mean, I shouldn't get overly cocky, but we kind of pulled off a, a pivot here. Maybe not. I mean, we're on three wins, but, you know... We were on one win two rounds ago. I would say just what it, for every three health this has, and you're gonna give six six to these two. That's fine. I mean, it's a a taco is not like a landmark purchase unless you're drunk and hungry or sober and hungry as well. A few strong lads, without a doubt, but we got we got some strength in our own lads. Now, I don't know if I would pivot this to a fly build, given the opportunity. Oh, and we, we have been given the opportunity. I think we got a, a funny thing going here with the trumpets. So, I'm just lampshading that I'm eschewing the fly. I do think a puma makes sense. But it has to be like... Like, toy, sell, puma to get the double trigger off the mosasaurus, and then sell the puma, get the toy back, uh, get the toy generating unit back in there. So, I, th I think this is fine. Stingray. 
flashlight. We're rolling to hopefully get a chocolate, which we didn't. When you break, you're going to give 12-12 because we're going to slot a puma in there. But you're not breaking this turn, you're breaking next turn. So we just got to be very considered with like the order that we, the order of operations here. And hey, we don't have any equipment, so joke's on the raccoon for trying to steal it from us. This is where I'd put my equipment, if I had any. And now I'd say we hit some level of respectability. Especially because, like, hitting five wins... It's fine. I mean, maybe... In battle, in battle, okay. Five wins off of a pivot is harder than... Huge. Is harder than... Five wins, just normal. Like you win the first five rounds in a row. Because you actually have to use some thought. <laughs> I'm not trying to say this five is worth as much as a ten. I'm just saying... Five wins off of a pivot is worth more in my head. Because you could get five early wins. All that requires is like great shops. The wins that we're getting here, we've had to fight for, for every single one of them, okay? And we're still fighting. That was close. We Keep in mind, we're getting a nice buff here. You're... you're all we really want to do is give you levels, really. But this is nice. I would say you're sold. You're bought. And then hold the Puma. We can move the Mosasaurus around. Now, I think we probably want a little coconut armor. A one-up on you, I never even really thought about it. But obviously goes crazy. And, I mean, the only other thing with three gold, I guess I would put a one-up on our turkey. But we're not going to put it on the... This land, because he's getting coconuts. I lived. What is going on here? <laughs> Can you just relax? I, I have a feeling that, like, at some point you're going to get a bear. Like, you've been fishing for a bear for the entire run so far, and it just hasn't happened for you yet, but at some point it will, and then you're going to be very annoying. So I'm happy I fought you when I did. Now, you should probably, I mean, this is like an awkward setup, but it should probably be like this, because this, and this toy's about to pop. So I would, it would be like a sell, place, take your buff, no investment required. I mean, Bear could do something for us. We're getting a reasonable number of attacks, but I think at this point we kind of know what we're looking for. I think we want you to get close to a level. Oh, baby! <laughs> So we're gonna get double the, we're gonna get the 12 12 buff on the Niala. That's like, and on the turkey to be fair, but the Niala is the big one. Oh, you were, were you a level two or so? Why do you have a coconut armor too? What did, what, how, did, how did that manifest? How did that come to pass? You all laughed at me for taking my, uh, my turkey one up there, but would you look at that? It just ate an attack and maybe kept us going here. This is going to be the longest uh, Super Auto Pets round of the week, I think, because we're still kick we're still cooking here. We don't really need a tiger in lieu of something that gener like because we don't have a toy right now. In lieu of a toy generating a unit, we would prob I mean we could run tiger and get an extra 16 trumpets. But we're not going to need that because you're already giving us 25 and then you're giving us 32. So forget this. You would probably just buff the Niala and then run the squad thusly. Well, like thusly. And then you're not worried about... Well, we don't have a toy, so the Mosasaurus is kind of dead weight right now, but it is what it is. I forgot it was kind of nice to have coconut armor. <laughs> it turns out coconut armor is like pretty good. All right. And our turkey, our turkey is also dead weight right now, but again, it's been, it's been buffed quite nicely. I, we actually don't need you to level, and I have one with you before. But dead weight is like, it's an awkward way to describe it, because it's like you can't just throw a bear onto the squad and be like, we're good now. We really, more than anything else, we need a toy. And we did not get one. <laughs> um, in that case, we will roll uh, until... Well, it's only round 17. You never know. I would have taken any tier 3 toy and up. Hang on, this is a spawning team. 
Without any equipment, it's pretty annoying still because the bear is going to do some serious damage. But at the same time, it's like coconut armor wouldn't have changed our calculus on this one too much. I think. So I actually think that maybe we got like the most favorable matchup that you could ever ask for. And that keeps us alive. And then we take our level just... It, again, it's no benefit, but there's some inertia. Technically, I guess we could sell you and you would get one coconut armor, but it would be so much nicer to just get some equipment. But then I'm like, what the heck does six damage do, man? Like at this stage of the game, six damage doesn't do anything. <laughs> Listen. So what is this lad doing here? His only role is to use his coconut armor to break the coconut armor of our opponent. Our opponent uniquely did not get coconut armor. <laughs> the two units directly behind them got coconut armor. That one stings. That, that one will drive you crazy. But you know what? I mean, they, they, I'm not going to say you don't deserve it. I mean, look at this. Look at this fully optimized strawberry team you got here. Guest. It does sting a little bit just because we were building something a little unique. I think we got, uh, with the, like, the... Again, I'm not exclusively blaming the shop. I'm just saying our, our toy luck kind of dried up a little bit. How about... Uh, you know what? Let's, let's mix it up. Let's try a balloon. Early wins count the same as um, late game wins. But if we could... if we Taking a balloon lowers our chances of winning right now. Um, but it might raise our chances of winning more frequently in the mid-game. That's how I'm going to choose to think about it. You know what I mean by that? Like, that extra 1-1, one, one, which we probably should have put on a gecko, but that extra 1-1 one, one that we get from the balloon might give us like a plus 10% chance to win like the next three rounds with, as long as 1-1 one, one still is like a relevant stat line. So, I would say on this one, you have to be a little careful because the most important thing is getting a toy. But if that's the most important thing, we should at least have the shop open up a little bit. And now I'm like, that's obviously not what we're going to do. What we're going to do is just take the stats as they lay. And you're still going to be like a, I don't know, like a 10-8. But actually you're going to be a 12-10 as a result of the, of the dove. I, I'm, I'm not ashamed to be running this for like one round. 14-10 because you got the moth benefit. It's a draw I can accept. And then you generate some garlic. It's just, I mean, we need it. Well, you don't have to generate garlic now that I think about it. Two, one, nice. Two, two. Instead, I'm going to have you give us a radio. And then I'm going to, I know it's a heavy price to pay. It's a price I'm willing to pay. I would, I know we're not getting the full effect out of this dove, but it is a nice stat point. And then just toss me a stork in position one. Why? Well, inertia, kind of, but like I think it, it gives us a good chance of winning this round. They got their own radio. It's Radio V Radio. That's what Cuba Gooding Jr. thought the 2003 Oscars were going to be like, but it did not work out. There's a little radio joke for you. I don't know if you're familiar with the movie. <laughs> I never saw it. I saw the trailer, and I was like, I'm not going to see that. But again, I was like 10 or something. No, I was like 15. Either way. Why are you booing me? I'm right. Okay, you take your buff. You're probably going to get sold. And a puppy's going to come out next turn. Yes, because we want the radio buff. Okay, and another level. I don't think we really want the dove that much, but... Are we to pill any? No, we're not going to pill anything. And we're going to take a lasagna from the puppy. And I know what you're going to say. Let me guess, NL. You got to leave pretty soon. It's true. <laughs> I'm hey, man. You call it bad time management, I call it Herculean work ethic, okay? Keep in mind I live in North America and it's the summertime. Nobody, nobody's getting anything done in the summertime. 
I mean, it's not European levels of not getting anything done in the summertime, which, by the way, I'm, I'm jealous of, but I think it's going to be a sell, buy. We're going to be running a lot of toys. So, sure, give me lasagna. I know we'll only get the temporary lasagna effect while we're in battle, but that's still a 2-2 a buff one extra time, which is nice. Um, and then we can start to, because the, the toy build can help to keep this run relevant into the late game. That's why, um, oh, it, it stocked one. Oh, but did it stock one in the shop that maybe we'll get, be able to get for free? Oh my God, that would be crazy. Even though it didn't break. Oh. <laughs> anyway, the toy build will keep this run relevant into the late game, which is why I'm excited to always get that chameleon. Yes. And I, I would just like to have some benefit here. I guess you could take that. We are on four wins in seven rounds. I think realistically we're able to finish this, um, this match. But then I will leave in a hurry. <laughs> hey! Don't skunk me. Maybe, maybe now when, the, when it breaks we'll get three lasagnas for free? Copium? Three lasagnas for free, please? We got one lasagna for free. Here's the thing, you're already scaling nicely. Why don't you take this? We know you're sticking around, we know you're not. Give me two Gariels. And we'll obviously take Foam Sword, That's this is the way. Um, sorry to the Hummingbird, but two of these is gonna scale us a lot faster. It allows us to get out a nice salad there. For turn eight, it's a pretty good looking team. Certainly, we would expect to be outstatting like our average opponent at this point. That was a really nice get for us. They do have a level 2 chameleon though, holy cow. We're actually... Jingle Jangle. Great, great song. I feel bad that we beat you. Because, I mean, that, that is a bop. You need this. We don't get a toy refresh on level. Oh, we'll wait till next time. I'm gonna, I'm gonna enjoy one more turn of level 1. I'm gonna bet on ourselves. Come on, we got, we got tons of momentum right now, and then we just need toys to keep us relevant. This could be a run where like uh, getting death touch from a mongoose could, could keep us in it. Pain, pain. Yeah, this one's a lot of pain. It's a strong team there, dude. I mean, we were on full life. My early to mid game is, is pretty stable here. It's just the late game where I lose it a little bit. I would still take foam sword. I would keep, this, this is how much I believe in this squad right now. I would keep this Mongoose Frozen to come out. Thank you. I need that for next time. I really think that this is good. And maybe we could keep the Mongoose Frozen and immediately get like a level 2 out of it or something instead. Like we, we could just spawn it as a level 2 so we get the effect of the level 2 toy instead of going through the whole song and dance. You know what I mean? Okay, nice, nice little bit of HP for you. <clears throat> that takes us to 7. I'm starting to feel the time pinch. Take this. That's, that's how we're going to do it. It's going to get spat out thusly. Um, in that case, I mean, I guess a pear is just like a worse pretzel, but we should really actually have you. Roll once, measure twice. Like, coconut armor is always going to hit. And on turn 11, I think we're really spitting out like quite a rude team here. It is a Thursday, so like people are bringing their A-game, don't get me wrong. Oh, Death Touch, but I have a coconut. Oh! I've got spurs that jingle, jangle, jingle as I go right merrily along. Oh, Annabelle, oh, Annabelle, oh, I've done my share of dreaming. This is why I never fell. I've got sp Sorry, sorry, I'm feeling myself. Mm, I would say skip me. I would say chocolate me. I would say give me a level two effect. And uh, it's hard to, I mean, coconut for the front unit. No, no, no. Hang on. I got to figure this out. Just give me television for now. The, the stats we get out of it is probably going to be good enough. Because we really don't want to lose the effect of the coconut on you. And we don't, I think we would override it with Death Touch, no matter what. Now, Death Touch is great, but we need Coconut to defeat our opponent's Death Touches. I mean, I am questioning whether this is where I lose it. I'm questioning it, but okay.
also be a good time for a puma. Why, why would I level you? What am I thinking? What, what's the play on that one? That's the play right there. If anything, well, you know what? We sell our pelican to get our next toy enabler out there. And we keep the mongoose around in case we don't get it. Oh, you're going to steal my coconut. But I am quite strong. <laughs> We're simply not beating a, uh, a raccoon that can steal our coconut there. No doubt about that. He would have stolen all, like, all of our death touches as well. You know, just run the numbers through for yourself. Uh, toy me. We need a toy. We can't take a tiger. It, it absolutely has to be a toy enabler. Now you might sound crazy, but we don't take break or flashlight because it's just not going to be good enough. Maybe it would be if we put you here so that we're not overstatting something else. And then when you actually it'd be nice to get a puma out here or two pumas out here when this thing's about to break, because then you would give a, an insane stat bo boost to the chameleon. Two coconuts, huh? That's a strong looking lad. With two coconuts on you, that's a strong looking lad. I'm kind of a strong looking lad myself, but not strong enough. Okay? This is where it's, um, you can hear me clicking like a madman. This is where it often all falls apart. Imagine if we got the puma leveled. It's a heavy price to pay. This is why I never fell. I've got spurs that jingle, jangle, jingle. I'm, I'm, th that's for next time. The Puma not getting there is painful, and we, we, we simply can't afford to sell something to make the payment there. But this is great for our chameleon. It is going to get like a 12-12 a buff. They took a television. I'm like praying that that's, uh, that's going to be a big mistake for them. I, I know I lost my coconut. Holy cow, we got the nine. Get me out of here, brother. <laughs> this is where we go pog crazy mode. Two of these. And then we get the level three effect. Give me the television. You might as well just, okay, for, for next time. Because <laughs> this is like as good as the stats are ever gonna get. They got a spawning team, a trumpet based organization here. I understand. I can't help but feel like we did not get nearly as many stats out of this as I thought we would get. And the, um, well, you know what? That takes us to super lethal, which means I'm going to be out of here on time. It would be amazing to get a strawberry on our chameleon. Oh my god, we did. Just because you're our next best unit. I mean, what do you want from me? <laughs> Take a... You're gonna get a decent amount of stats. Maybe a chili pepper breaks some coconuts. This is a this is for all the marbles, but come on, man. Good coconut. Good stats. We're not breaking any coconuts. We're doing damage. Don't draw me, brother. I got a I got an appointment. <laughs> Give me, and then it broke. I need something, man. I need a toy. It's not good enough. Don't, none of these toys are good enough. God, don't, don't panic. Just think about it. Come on, man. Come on. Okay, it has to be this. And then it has to be... It has to be Stinky Sock, man. Break is not going to do it for us here. We're going to try to reduce everybody's HP... To as low as possible so that the chili pepper can get the job done. Big coconuts. You're not you're gonna steal my chili pepper, which is unfortunate. That that wasn't really part of my plan. Oh my god, we got there. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did click the like button, it helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. Ooh, see you next time. Later.